What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to Chujo's FM, the new football manager channel here on YouTube. Now, to start with, I want to say that this is a new channel and it is work in progress, so the videos may be slow and delayed to start with, but as I get used to this, they will be getting quicker and quicker. Um, now, moving on to what I wanted to do, the football manager community on various forums uh, and fan sites all over the internet. Uh, a lot of fans are wanting to try their hand at kit making. Uh, now, kit making itself is used by uh, is done by using two programs: uh, Smart Shirt Designer, which you can get on FM Scout, or Photoshop. Now, in my opinion, Smart Shirt Designer it does the job, but it's not not exactly fantastic. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to give you a Photoshop tutorial. So what you want to do is open up Photoshop, which I already have, and as you can see, I've already got kits loaded up to show you. But first, you need to know where these kits come from. So once you've downloaded the templates that I'm going to link in the bottom of the description, you have to go to kits, templates, and then search for the brand that you want. Now, want in this pack and the pack that I'm going to link, there is absolutely tons of kits that can be used. So let's just go down to, let's use Nike, and use, let's just use the ones that was already open. So let's go back onto Photoshop, find the ones that were open, and just see if we can find a kit that we fancy. So I fancy using this one, <clears throat> 443. So if you, if you like kit 443 in the kit templates pack, what you want to do is once you've found once you found these pictures that I'm, that I'm about to bring up, once you've found the kit that you like in these, don't double click on these kits because it's just going to bring up the Windows Photo Viewer. The kits that that are here, all of these, are in this folder. So the numbered kit that you want will be in this. So if you wanted kit three, it'd be in one to forty. If you wanted 113, it would be in 81 to 120 etc etc so it goes upwards but every uh, every picture that you see from say 81 to 120 is in there so once you've found the one that you want double click on the PSD file which will bring up Photoshop and allow you to make the changes so on this as you can see I've chosen Nike kit 443 if you want to change the color of the shirt go down to base which is right at the bottom of the layer section, click on shape and color overlay. So as you can see at the minute it's white, we could change it to several different colors. So let's just change it to, let's change it to this. Like a maroon kind of color. Control. Uh, and if you want to copy that, you press Control and C for copy, which I'm pretty sure that most of you already know. So that's changed the colour of the shirt itself. So if you want to make changes to the actual shirt, you can go up, go back up to the kit that you want and go to design. And on this one, it's only the cuffs that are editable because that's the only thing that's been added on this certain thing. The different style shirts that you get, there will be more things added. So for example, let's just close this one for a second. On this one, you have the diamond pattern. So if you go into design, there is going to be a lot more. And it's just the same again. For the colours. You can go to white. Or, you can do something cool that you can also add to shirts, which is gradient overlay. This is where it starts from one colour and works its way up. So you can have a rainbow, blue, or you can make a Sweden shirt using that kind of colour. You know, it's just an idea. So we're going to go back to the kit that I was using anyway, which was this. So in this, it's only the cuffs that have uh, that are in the design folder. So for this, I'm going to change these to white. And then let's open up the logo section, which is the Nike, which I'm going to also change to white. The dry fit, 
which I'm going to also change to white, which is at the bottom of the screen here, and also the Nike ID label, which I'm going to leave as it is because that, that doesn't need colouring. So let's close that. Then for the collar, so as you can see, there's a button sitting right, let's just go onto that, sitting right there. As you can see, if I change it to a different colour and then delete it, it's not there anymore. So this, this panel here just brings up and hides all the different layers. So for the colour itself, I'm going to change it to, guess what colour? White. For, uh, under the colour, I'm going to change to white. Or to even even to a like a lighter shade of white, just to just just to add that kind of a shadowed effect. And for the back of it, which is yellow, I'm also going to change to white. Now for the neckline, which is this red bit at the back, I'm going to change it to a light blue because I've, I've just actually had an idea that I'm going to change. So let's do that and copy. the left side I'm going to change to white and the right side I'm also going to change to white but for the inner I'm going to deactivate that because it goes from red to that colour so I've had a change of heart for the cuffs I'm going to change to blue Actually no, let's put them back to white, they don't look white blue, let's put them back to white. And then again for the neckline, let's change it to white. Obviously you can pick any colour you want, but for this I'm just trying to make a quick kit just to show you guys how to make a kit on Photoshop. And let's change it to white. So this is the bit that you can have whatever you want on. You can go to File and Place. Now locate where your Football Manager templates are. Not templates, sorry, your Football Manager logos. Now, a lot of people that I know tend to have logos, kits, and facebacks just, just to add that authenticity to the game. But let's make a let's make an Aston Villa shirt. So you find the Aston Villa logo, double click, and there you go, it's been brought up. This is where you resize the shirt, the, 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 lo the logo that you want, you find the most suitable place to put it, and you press enter. And there you go. The Aston Villa badge has been placed onto the shirt. Now, as you can see, the Aston Villa is maroon and blue, but I'm not going to take blue this time. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change the base color of the shirt and make, it a, a make an Aston Villa away shirt. So for that, just do the same as last time. Go to base and let's make it a let's make it a dark purple kind of colour. So there you go. So it's, it's now changed from maroon to dark purple. Now this is what I find pretty fun. If you go into your uh, if you go into your logos again, you can go into you can find the logo that you want. You can you can double click on it. Sorry, put, a, put it a place that you want it. So say in the middle. I will delete this afterwards. So say in the middle and press enter. But that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? So double click on it. Go into bevel, uh, bevel and emboss. Then go to dissolve. And you can add things like that. You can darken it. You can color burn it, linear burn it, dark color it, etc. Before this, I'm just going to leave this blank and go to normal. So, if it's the opacity, you can do this and you can actually fade the shirt from the badge. You can actually fade the badge from the shirt. This is a good effect if you want to add uh, a kind of stadium, a stadium picture. Put the stadium picture to black and white and transfer it onto the shirt using the opacity bar. And there you go, that's done. So for that, you've got the, the perfect Aston Villa badge here, and then you've got the actual Aston Villa badge there. 
that is just visible. But I'm going to delete that anyway. So here, I'm going to show you now how to add a sponsor. The website that I use for the, sp for the sponsors is Brands of the World. Brands of the World is probably one of the best uh, websites I've used for sponsors because it has such a huge collection. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and download this Pandora. Don't ask me why, but it's just what I fancied. And you can do it either by categories or countries. Now, categories, again, so many and countries. It's an unbelievable selection. Now, for me, I have a specific sponsor folder in my kit in my in my kit pack, which has absolutely loads of logos that I'd want to use. Before this, I've downloaded a different logo. So let's go into downloads, Pandora, and then drag that to the desktop. Now, if you use Brands of the World only use the EPS files and the AI files as the SVGs and the CDFs won't open because the CDF is a coral draw format and the SVG, I'm not sure what that's used for but the SVG is not openable uh, on Photoshop itself so let's go into, let's do what we did last time go into file, place, go onto your desktop find the Pandora that you want and open it up there you go so, so just drag it, scale it to size, the size that you want. Find the suitable place to put it. Press enter. Double click. Color overlay. White. And there you go. A simple but effective way of making kits. And to be honest, you can do absolutely hundreds. If you want to save it and use it in your game, I this is the way that I do it. I go to save a uh, file, save for web, change it to 220 by 220, save that as villa underscore two. So that's the away shirt. And there you go, that's how you make kits using Football Manager. One more thing I will show you quickly is how to add a color, a, an effective color overlay. So for this, it's gone to black and white, but you can click on this. And you can change it to any colour that you fancy using that. And again, using the white side, you can click anything you want and just do that. And there you go, that's, that's the gradient effect. So that's my, that's my uh, tutorial of the kit templates done, the kit making done. And all that's left for me to do now is say thank you for watching this video. I hope you subscribe, I hope you like, and please give me some feedback and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching guys, I appreciate it, thank you.